This book belongs to me. Hello, journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red breakfast. And then there's Mom, my top tea drinking buddy. Ah! I go get my tea and this is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. And made a wish. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, journal. Gran always says, A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. Bran said writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is that to make me feel better about my height? Or about my writing? I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction? A comedy? A drama? Fairy tales? Wait, we're getting somewhere. A fantasy story. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Once upon a time. Ugh, no one said this would be easy. Again. From the top. Not so far away. In the land of... Doria. A place of peace and magic. There lived a girl named...
Grace! Everyone knew her by the bright color of her red dress. She was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life. For she was the only apprentice of the village guardian. Elder Ava. Everyone was very fond of Grace. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... As smart as her. of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Grace. She was smart and loved to study and learn new things. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Grace. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's going to be so happy. Let's head back to the village. The firefly shared Grace's excitement. I was studying before you showed up, firefly. We should pick up my books on the way back. I sometimes forget where I put stuff. Especially when I'm lost in a book. about a pirate queen. Such an exciting life. This one's about ancient lands. Maybe we'll go there, Firefly. Come on, Firefly. The village is just a bit Wah. further down. Woo! I love doing that. The bridge was an old creaky affair. Careful, Grace. Careful. Grace imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And... down! Grace knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Nearly there, Firefly. Just one more little slide. Here. We go! The old cargo, barely used. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Grace couldn't wait to learn more about fireflies. She'd get herself a book about her village's history. Look, Firefly.
called her Ava. Happy birthday, Grace. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. D would Ava was sure that Grace would rise to the occasion. Go ahead. Open it. This will store all some there will now. Your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the shrine tree for the other fireflies' blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Oh, before I forget, a little... Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Grace a gift. Ava's favorite pendant, set with a giant... Ruby. No. I'm so proud of you, Grace. Wait to try out my magic book. And all at once, Grace was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Oh, how'd you do that? Her power. She must have the book. Why do we have Grace loved throwing stones Grace over the rooftops, the but not garden. today. Today, the Firefly the Shrine is waiting. No morning. Look, Grace has the book. <gasps> oh, miss. She Go looked on. over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I could always use more paradise. I'll take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Grace! Happy birthday! No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Grace. But Grace has one. Well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush.
about the world that lay beyond. Swayed in the warm breeze, its slats creaked with a gentle familiarity as Grace crossed it. I haven't seen that look for a while, Grace. You off to see the fireflies. Let me get the gate. Ah! Blast! Grace couldn't wait to see the fireflies. Soon they'd bless her as new village guardian. What's being guardian going to be like, Firefly? to adventure. Perfect. Grace crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. bell to announce her arrival. At last, the tree was in sight, home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on. Show them what you can do. It. They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy that birthed stars and forged suns. Now she was part of it. Forever. And so Grace became the new Firefly Guardian, but her biggest adventure was yet to come. Hello, Journal. This time of the year, 